Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Right, so on a couple of occasions there in that second, in the, in the third quarter, again, the fourth, you guys were able to kind of find a gear, one that put you guys in the lead, and one that kind of put the game away. Just talk about what you guys did in those instances in the second half that kind of got you to win. Um, I think first of all, we shot, we didn't shoot great from the field, but we were able to get stops, timely stops when we needed them. Um, consecutive stops in a row, which led to fast breaks, which led to easy buckets, and uh, us being able to set our defense. Um, you know, they made some adjustments as far as how they were trapping and how they playing def uh, defense and defending guys. Um, you know, it kind of caught us by surprise in the first half, and then we went in, made adjustments in the second half, and I think we were good. What was the message at halftime with you guys? And yeah, so defensively we're doing really good. I mean, I think we had them to under 50 points in the first in the first half, but our offense wasn't uh, it was a match on our same level of defense, and uh, we had to find ways to get guys in space, get guys in the right spots, um, you know, and Joel. We had to be in Joel's vision for when they trapped him to help him out, and I think we did that. Seeing what he struggles against tonight, is there any sort of specific points of emphasis that you have when you're guarding him? I just try to pressure him. Um, he's like three, four inches taller than me, so if I can get under him and try to pressure him and uh, try to force him to shoot uh, mid twos over me, I mean that's 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 what I try to do. There's no really no special secret to it. I'm just trying to play defense. Terry, we haven't seen you show emotion the way that you did after that and one in the third quarter in a pretty long time. Can you take us through sort of what led to that exhale of emotion? Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to win, man. It's like, um, you know, we knew this was an important game. You know, Tuck said it, as soon as we won game one, that game two is going to be the hardest game. And um, we wanted to go and make sure that we protected home court. I mean, we started off slow, like we talked about. Uh, but we went to the half only down five. As bad as we played offensively, we were only down five points. And we knew that uh, if we can catch, if we get our offense to catch up to our defense and continue to be stingy on defense, then we knew we had a shot. You got a lot of threes, the team had a lot of threes, so just jump off. The elbow free throw line, just handling the doubles better. Is that sort of what the message was to trust that? Yeah, I mean, we didn't shoot great from three tonight, but um, I mean, we got open looks. And I think the biggest thing is that uh, Joel is trusting. And, um, you know, I keep telling him, keep trusting and keep believing, and guys are going to hit shots. And I feel like we got guys in the right spot. Um, we knew Jalen could dive because he's, he's taller, a uh, bigger target for Joel. And then they have to they have to help on Jalen. So now we got three shooters that are spaced out. Um, and Tuck as well, when he dives as well, he's a big target as well. So that was good for us. How well is the bias Harris played in his first game that helped him early in the third quarter of the season got you guys going? Yeah, he's been huge, man. He, he's man. We've talked about it all year and since I've been here. He's a pro's pro. His role changes probably game by game on this team, but uh, he's been able to stay steady. Uh, he's played extremely well. He's at. He's. We've asked him to guard, like defensively, guard guys that he normally hasn't had to guard in the past. But he's stepped up to the challenge. He's done that, and he's still been able to shoot the ball well on the offensive end and, and be productive over there. Since day one together, we didn't really get to hear from you after his last after his last game. Um, what did you make of what he did, and how much did you learn? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Um, he's been great. I mean, you know, he okay. So he's going to be on the court when Joel is not on the court, right? So for him to go out there to break even or win his minutes is, is extremely important. And he can switch one through five. Um, he's extremely active. Uh, I've been on him just about being active, man. Like, go out there and cause havoc because you can. You know, he, his length is a problem for uh, for offensive guys. And uh, he's been great, man. He, him and James Howard have, uh, you know, figured out a little two-man game. And uh, it, it's, it's funny because, you know, <laughs> P. Reed goes up to James and myself every single day and tells her, I'm coming screen for you. I'm coming screen for you. Come downhill. I may be open, but if not, I'm going to get the rebound. But, um, you know, I'm just proud of him, man. He, he's working his behind off, and uh, you know, kudos to him. James, when? A few more guys. Okay. Okay. That's defense in the third quarter. You and Tobias felt like your chemistry up top was really good. You guys were creating those uh, questions and disruptions. What was into the chemistry that you could get to? Westside. Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it, Bobby. Hey. We're on the top. Woo. We on the top, woo, woo. we on the top, woo, woo. we on the top, woo, woo. had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the pie, never stop, woo, woo. 